It's a and complete misunderstanding of the function of fuses. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert sessions here at Boat How To. We're Jan and Nigel, and um, today we have a question from someone who's asking. It is said that household electricians use fuses to protect electrical cables, while sailors use fuses to protect low power devices. Is this correct? And if so, is this something to do with the difference between AC circuits and DC circuits? Mm, I think some, some sailors... It's a complete misunderstanding of the function of fuses and circuit breakers for that matter. And it's a common misunderstanding. The fuse or circuit breaker essentially has nothing to do with protecting the piece of equipment that's at the end of the circuit. The function of a fuse or circuit breaker is to stop the conductor from melting down if we get some sort of a short circuit, we get a high current flow through that conductor that the conductor can't handle. Let's say the, the, the piece of equipment at the end of the circuit gets a short circuit, which means that instead of putting a high resistance in the circuit and limiting the flow to a handful of amps, all of a sudden we could have hundreds of amps going through that conductor. At which point the conductor melts down and it doesn't just melt down where the short circuit is. The amps are going through the conductor to the point of the short circuit and back to the, the battery or on an AC circuit, back to the AC source of power. So the entire conductor run is seeing that high amp flow and then the entire conductor run melts down. And if it's in a bundle with other conductors, it melts all the other conductors and then we've got multiple short circuits on the boat. So we always put a fuse or circuit breaker at the source of power end of the circuit. So if we get these high current flows, the fuse blows or the circuit breaker trips and that shuts down the entire circuit and then uh, we don't have any meltdown. So that's the purpose of fuses and circuit breakers, is to prevent conductors melting down. And in order to do that, the fuse or circuit breaker has to be at the source of power and not at the load end of the circuit. We have to put those fuses and circuit breakers ideally at the source of power, but if we can't do it exactly there, within a few centimeters or inches. And we cover all of this in, in great detail in our Boat Electrics 101, because it's really, really important to get this right. Exactly. And um, I actually see that a bunch of times on boats where people put a fuse right in front of their device. And I'm like, this doesn't do anything to protect the rest of the wire. Nothing so, at all. Exactly. So, um, yeah, if you want to learn how to properly place fuses and circuit breakers in your boat's installation and make it a lot safer, check out our Boat Electrics 101 course where we talk about this in great detail. And I think we also have like a free article on this from Nigel on, on Boat How To, which just gives you like a primer. Um, but yeah, if, it's, if you want to go through it step by step and learn of the function and different uh, properties of these uh, overcurrent protection devices, Boat Electrics 101 is the place to go. So check that out, boathowto.com, and see you soon.